and we're back. <laughs> we hope that wherever you are in the universe that these videos make your day a little bit brighter. And if this video did make your day, subscribe to become a Saftronaut and join us in Sapphire Universe. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so we can make your day every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, Saftronauts. See you in the universe. I had been in the army for two years and uh, got discharged. And when I came home, I was living with my mother and she was going to the Bosch circuit to uh, what they used to call the Jewish Alps. And they were going away, it was a holiday and they were going away for a week. And so I said, okay, I'll come along because I had been away for two years. My mother knew Sandy, who was, became my wife later. She knew Sandy since childhood. I never met her before. And she knew the parents. So they picked uh, my mother and myself up. That's the first time I met her. She was wearing Bermuda shorts and uh, a Polish shirt, I think. Blondish hair. I could show you a picture of her. You know, it may be easier. Uh, she sort of had cut her hair and was short, sort of uh, ultra-modern kind of, uh, and she was just very appealing, you know, uh, and attractive. I was nonchalant, you know, you know, being very sophisticated. I was in the army, you know, so I knew nothing. Uh, all I knew was that she looked very pretty. And when we came home, uh, I said, you know, I'll, I'll call you. And she said, good. It wasn't Romeo and Juliet where, uh, you know, let's elope tonight, you know. I don't think she would have ever gotten me out to do that. <laughs> I was not spontaneous. So maybe two weeks went by, three weeks went by, and I decided I'll call her for a date. I had a good friend, Irv, and the two of us were inseparable, kind of. So I made this date with Sandy, and uh, Irv and I showed up. She was never sure if she was dating me or Irv. This went on for a couple of years the three of us. Sandy got a little irritable. That time was still going on and we weren't progressing or going anywhere. The bottom line was I didn't ask her to get married. I was really conflicted. So Sandy uh, decided that's enough. No, I was crushed. I immediately reacted. You know, all, all other issues, conflicts, all just disappeared. I, I ran back, I threw pebbles at her window. I was uh, Cyrano de Bergerac or whoever he was. And I said, I'll marry you. Will you marry me?
she was just as romantic and stupid as I was. But then again, why not? <laughs> it's what makes things happen. Of course, Irv was with me. <laughs> Difficult term, love. She could put it into words much easier than I can, but it's, it's intellectual. And I think it's something deeper, some kind of, uh, you know, when I'm alone without, when I was alone without her, I, I had her inside me, kind of. Uh, and uh, uh, and I could sense, you know, the, um, the attraction, the need, the want. I don't know how else to explain it. You know, I'm not quite sure. But mostly, I guess, you know, when he, when she's not there, she's big and important and uh, could die for. That's the one I wanted to be with. Even if I couldn't tell myself at the time, consciously, I think. Uh, you know, sit down, think about it. Oh, do I want to be with it? Or have the next five years, 50 years, 100 years. Uh, didn't do that kind of thing. It was just rushing fall off the cliff and just keep falling with her. I want her to be with her now, you know, and, uh, uh, and now, and as the weeks and years went on, and now. I never thought of uh, how long. It was just, and now.